Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. So I'm just picking up where I left off on the last vlog with the chicken noodle soup. So it's getting close to being done. We've got about an hour, hour and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and add my noodles in. I'm just using these Miss Miller's Old Fashioned Extra Wide Egg Noodles. You can use any egg noodles that you want to. Um, I've already shredded the chicken in there, so I'm going to pour these in, let it cook for about another hour, and then we'll be ready to eat. And instead of crackers tonight, I'm going to do just um, lots of peanut butter jelly sandwiches to go along with our soup. Alright, so we are all done, and this is just leftovers. But oh my word, y'all, it was so, so good. Today is Friday, September 15th, and I'm here in Home Depot parking lot. I'm going to run in here real quick and look at moms. Um, we do have some exciting news to share with you in this video, but first, I've been wanting to get some moms from my front porch, but I tried to wait as long as I could where it's not too terribly hot outside. I mean, today's 76, like a perfect day. So I'm going to grab some moms in here real quick. Uh, Allie has her first volleyball game tonight, so we'll be going to that. So we got to have a quick dinner before we leave for that. Um, Anyway, y'all make sure you stay tuned this whole video because we have some exciting news to share. But first, I'm going to go look at mom's real quick. Alright y'all, so it is not the next day. It's now Sunday morning. I hope the lighting in here is okay. I'm in my bathroom upstairs. This is our bathroom up here, but it's kind of like a quiet spot in the mornings when I'm finished getting ready because all the kids are downstairs. Um, so anyway, I told y'all Friday when I was at Home Depot getting the moms that I had some exciting news to share with y'all, but I wanted to get this video filmed before Monday. We're getting ready to go to church here in a few minutes. So I wanted to let y'all know some very exciting news, which you could already tell from the title of this video, but I am pregnant. We are so excited to announce that we are expecting baby number 10 in May 2024. Um, I will have another video coming out, kind of telling you some of the symptoms I've had. Uh, if you're interested in like the um, progression lines on pregnancy tests, I'll also be sharing that. So make sure y'all subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're interested in that video. Um, so anyway, th this is what this video is about though, is just letting y'all know that I am now expecting. As of right now, while I am talking to y'all, I am currently six weeks and five days, so Tuesday I will be seven weeks alone. Um, so I found out though just a few days before I turned four weeks, so I've known for almost three weeks. Um, we kept it a secret from the girls for a couple of weeks and then we told our girls and then we announced it over on Instagram over the weekend, kind of just announcing things here and there slowly. Um, so I did have the blood work in the beginning like I did with the last pregnancy and y'all know I had a miscarriage back in June and my numbers did not double like they were supposed to when I had my blood work, my, H, my HCG numbers. Um, but thankfully this time they more than doubled so that is a really good sign. At the beginning of pregnancy, um, I had those, I don't remember when I had those, it was right at four weeks when I had those blood draws. Um, so anyway, I didn't need any more after that. My first ultrasound is scheduled for October the 5th, which feels like forever away, but kind of is flying by. I'll be nine weeks in a couple of days when I have my first ultrasound. So far, everything is going good. Um, I am having like some pregnancy symptoms, which is making me feel better waiting on that ultrasound. Um, not really sick. Like I don't have any morning sickness. Once in a while I'll get a little, I don't know, a little gaggy and feel a little nauseous here and there, but like fatigue has definitely hit me. A lot of you picked up the hints um, when I would say that I was tired and things. You kind of suspected that I might be pregnant because I have been like really tired here lately, especially in the afternoon. Like I have energy in the morning until lunchtime. Shortly after lunchtime, I'm just like so tired. I have to sit down for a while and then I like get another spurt of energy in the evening where I can carry on and do the rest of the things. So anyway, um, with all of my other girls though, well, except for my first three, they were, I was sick the whole time in the beginning with them. But the other ones, I didn't start really getting sick sick until eight weeks. And Millie, I don't think I ever really even got sick with her. Um, Millie was a pretty easy pregnancy, thankfully. So we'll see if this one's the same. Of course, we're praying for a healthy baby this time, healthy mama. I really don't care if it's a girl or a boy, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. I just want a healthy baby. Um, Josh is the same way, but of course he would love 
to have a boy. So I guess we'll just see. I will be doing the gender reveal again um, through the blood work, the early sneak peek test. So I'm excited with that. We did that with Millie and found out she was a girl at only nine weeks along. So I'm excited about that. The girls are so excited. I actually didn't video telling the girls this time like I did with Millie. It's kind of like just a private sweet thing just because of what we went through back in June with the miscarriage and all that. So um, I actually have a little shirt for Millie though that says, I have a secret on the front and the back says I'm going to be a big sister. So that's kind of how we told them. So we let the, we let her walk into the living room. Was it, was it Thursday night or Friday night? I think it was Friday night. Um, I went and put it on her and let her walk into the living room. All the kids were in there together. And at first they didn't notice her. And then Amy and Holly were the two that noticed it first. They were like looking at her shirt and they were looking at each other and they would read it and they were like, you know, the, the, just the excitement on their face. And after that, everybody started reading it. And everybody was just like, over the moon excited we're all excited for this new baby and this new life um so i'm excited to keep y'all updated on this journey and ultrasounds and how the baby's doing and you know all the things hopefully give you a little bit of a weekly pregnancy update we'll try to do that in some of my vlogs as well anyway i wanted to get this video out there just so that i can share the good news with y'all and because y'all are like part of the family and I want to let you know what's going on here. So we're excited to welcome baby number 10 soon. Like I said, watch out for the other videos of kind of talking about my symptoms. This was, um, I was like right at four weeks when I made this video. So it was a couple weeks ago. So yeah, watch out for that one. But anyway, like I said, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button before you leave today. I would love to have you as part of our YouTube family. I know this video is short and sweet, but it's just an announcement video. I thank y'all for hanging out with us. And as always, I will talk to you in the comments. Bye friends.